Have you ever tried a probiotic but you never felt a thing? If you've tried probiotics before and felt absolutely nothing, you're not alone. Most popular probiotic strains are fragile, ineffective, and most don't even actually survive the trip through your stomach acid. In this video, you'll discover how spore probiotics actually survive in storage, shipping, and your stomach acid. Why bacillus spores act like gut police inside your GI system. How spores actually boost the diversity inside your microbiome for better digestion. Benefits of bacillus spores that go beyond your gut and why spore probiotics are foundational to your gut health. I am a microbiologist and I suffered many years from antibiotic resistant infections. Uh, we help clients with resistant infections and gut challenges, but I'm not a doctor and this video is not medical advice. If you do need medical advice, be sure to talk to your practitioner. So there's three main types of probiotics. The regular probiotics you're probably used to, think like lactobacillus strains or bifidobacteria, you've probably seen and heard of those. There's also a second category called yeast probiotics, that's usually Saccharomyces boulardii or SACB. And a third newer category here in the US are spore-based probiotics. These tend to include predominantly the bacillus strains. You might be surprised to hear that most regular probiotics are quite sensitive and will actually die going through your stomach acid. There are some exceptions in the lactobacillus and bifidobacteria world, but these strains tend to be really fragile and they're extremely sensitive to heat, oxygen, and stomach acid. In fact, some of these studies show that as little as 1% of these probiotics actually make it through the journey of your harsh gastric system. And most probiotic manufacturers don't even test to show if their probiotics will make it into your intestine. So while you're swallowing billions of CFUs of these particular probiotics, a small fraction are actually making it alive into your intestine. But spore-based probiotics are quite different. Strains like bacillus probiotics actually have a spore form and the spore form of their life cycle protects them from heat, from acidic conditions in the stomach, and they can actually tolerate oxygen and low oxygen environments in the gut. So this makes them great for manufacturing and shipping they can tolerate oxygen and they can go in low oxygen environments. So because of this two phase form that bacillus spores, they can actually go back and forth with the spore form and the live form. So if they sense acidic conditions in your stomach, they're gonna stay in that spore form. When they arrive in your intestines, they'll come out because they sense the coast is clear. And let's say you've been using antibiotics. Well, they're alive in your guts and growing and doing their thing, but when they sense that antibiotic is there, they can cloak themselves back into that spore form and hide out in that protective state until the antibiotic is gone. And another big plus for bacillus spore probiotics is that no refrigeration is required. Uh, because they're so stable in that spore form, they handle the manufacturing, shipping in hot conditions, and sitting on a shelf until you're ready to take them. So next I want to talk about how bacillus spores act like little gut guardians inside your intestine and how they help push out disease-causing bacteria. Bacillus spore probiotics have a unique ability once they're inside your gut, they can actually sense the bacteria around them if they detect a pathogen or a bad bacteria that's overgrowing and out of balance with the rest of your GI system, they can tell that and then they work to actually shut that pathogen down. Spore probiotics actually have the ability to make numerous kinds of natural antibiotics inside the gut. And these are powerful natural compounds that actually target and suppress those gut overgrowths. 
And at the same time, they also work to crowd out those bad bacteria by competing for space and nutrients that are available. But you don't get this kind of active defense with regular probiotics. Strains like Lactobacillus and Bifidobacteria work in a more gentle fashion. They work to lower the pH in the gut by producing lactic acid, which helps your good gut microbes thrive but they're far less aggressive than spore probiotics. Regular probiotics don't read the room like bacillus spores do, and they often can't hold their ground during infections, overgrowths, and certainly during antibiotic use. Spore probiotics act more like gut security guards. They're constantly scanning the gut and they step in when they're needed. And the best part is, is that some studies show they actually increase the growth of good bacteria while they're holding the bad ones in check. Next, you'll see how spore probiotics can help your microbiome become more diverse and more resilient. Studies are showing that a less diverse gut microbiome, that means the less species you have inside your GI system, is tied to more disease conditions and a more diverse population, more species of gut microbes is tied to healthier, a healthier body, less disease. And I guess you could say a healthy gut is a diverse gut. So the more variety of beneficial gut bacteria you have, the better your overall immune health, digestion, and even your mood tend to be. But here's the problem. Most regular probiotics only give you a few different types of probiotic strains, and these strains rarely stick around for lasting effects. But this is where Bacillus spore probiotics really shine. Instead of trying to reseed your gut like regular probiotics do, Bacillus spore probiotics work like little gardeners inside of your GI system. They alter the pH for favorable bacteria, they work to crowd out and fight off harmful pathogens, and they encourage your healthy bacteria, the Lactobacillus, Acromantia, Bifidobacteria, they encourage those strains to actually grow and flourish inside of your GI system. In fact, in a recent gut model study, with just a few weeks of use with the Bacillus spore probiotics, they showed a 30% shift in the gut microbiome. Bacillus spores aren't just good for your microbiome. You might be surprised to find out their benefits go way beyond your gut. One of the most powerful benefits from spore probiotics is the boosting they do to your immune system. About 70% of your immune cells are actually located inside of your gut. And bacillus spores will actually help train your immune system cells and they will help balance them out. So instead of overreacting, which could lead to inflammation, or underreacting, which could leave you vulnerable, spores help your immune system react more appropriately. And that improvement in your immune system functioning is one of their main benefits. Spore probiotics have also been found to have a major influence in toxin control especially with something called lipopolysaccharides, or LPS. LPS are a toxic byproduct from the bad bacteria in your gut, and those LPS can actually leak into your bloodstream, which can cause inflammation inside of your body and even in your brain. In fact, one human clinical study performed on megasporbiotic showed that they actually reduced LPS levels by up to 45% in just 30 days of use. And that reduction in LPS can be really huge if you are dealing with inflammation, autoimmune conditions, joint pain, fatigue, and even mood disorders like depression or anxiety. If you're interested in this probiotic, I have a link in the description below. Now it's true that each type of probiotic can have unique benefits that it brings to your gut health, but spore-based probiotics are really a great foundation to build your gut health strategy upon. 
So lactobacillus and bifidobacteria strains can support your gut microbiome by reducing the pH, producing lactic acid, and supporting the health of your colon. But many strains are limited by the fact that they won't make it through your stomach acid very well, or they may not actually bind and find a home inside of your gut microbiome. Now the yeast probiotic Sac boulardii is great for short-term support of your GI system, especially uh, during or after antibiotic use, but it's not actually a long-term resident inside the gut, but it has fantastic support for diarrhea or loose stools associated with antibiotic use. Fermented foods can also have a great place in your gut health regimen. Most of their benefit actually comes from the chemical compounds that are made by the bacteria during the fermentation process. And those nutrients and chemicals will actually support your immune system and your good gut microbes. But they won't do much to significantly alter your gut microbiome. That's because these bacteria are often transient. They also don't survive stomach acid very well and they don't live naturally inside of the human GI system. They certainly can improve a lot of things on their way through your GI system, but they aren't a replacement for a targeted spore probiotic. Bacillus spore probiotics are the foundation for a strong and balanced gut. They're tough enough to survive the harsh gastric system and oxygen as well. They're smart enough to adapt to whatever environmental conditions they encounter, and they're also gentle enough for daily use. This makes them the ideal baseline for gut repair as well as long-term maintenance. I like to think of the gut like a garden. Fermented foods and regular probiotics can act like compost and adding new plants. But the bacillus spore probiotics are the ones who are preparing the soil, they're pulling the weeds out of the garden, and they're watering the roots. But here's the twist. If you're taking antibiotics or you might need them soon, the way you use probiotics totally changes. And most people, and even some doctors, aren't aware about how timing and the choice of strains can affect your recovery. There's one big mistake nearly everyone makes who's taking probiotics and antibiotics, and it could be sabotaging your gut health without you realizing it. Check out my next video here to find out what most people aren't told and how to protect your gut the smart way.